I've never had this many guitars in my studio to unbox all at the same time. Quite a challenge. I am going to do it all in this video. We're going to see the entire Jet Guitars range. Let's start off with the most affordable in the range, the JT300. A J for Jet and a T for, what do you think? Yeah, T style. Um, so it's a Telecaster model. Oh, that's, that's a nice color. Um, this is coming in at 147 euros. So we're starting off right at the low end of the bunch. Um, first glance, that is an impressive looking guitar. Look at that. Look at that. Let's, let's get rid of this box for a moment. Um, place you gently down there. That that's going to cost you 147 euros. Um, I'm going to have to look at the specs because I was expecting this one to be um, the worst, which it is, of the range, but so far, that looks great. That, I'm looking at my screen up there, by the way, that is stunning. I'm going to stop um, saying nice things about this guitar and um, check out the Strat style one for a second and then we'll plug them in. Did I say Strat style? I meant S style. Uh, okay. That's 147 euros. Um, all right. Uh, <laughs> that might be one of the best looking 147 euro guitars I've ever seen. Thankfully I've seen some stuff I don't like because I was worried that you weren't going to trust that I was actually being honest. Um, that is a great looking guitar. Uh, it's 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 creamy. It's um, vintage sort of pick guard. We've got a five way switch. Um, whew, here we go. I don't like the knobs on it. Boo hoo. The knobs are a bit too um, uh, cheap looking but it is cheap, so I forgive it. I mean, that's insane. All right, um, screws on the back and not countersunk it. I'm picking at things just to prove that this is a 147 euro guitar. That, let's get that box out of the way again. That is insane. Um, of course, the proof is in the pudding, or in this case, in the playing. We're gonna have to plug it in and uh, find out if it rocks or not. But on looks alone and feel, that is one of the best budget guitars I've ever picked up. That and the 300. We're at the beginning of the series. There's a 600, so we've got 300, 400, 450. There's loads of numbers. I've got six guitars to get through, so I better get on with it. All right, up next is the JS400 HSS. So this has got a humbucker in it. Okay, that wasn't actually taped shut. I didn't need the X that time. Um, here's our trim arm. So now, now I'm expecting big things because I was impressed with the 300. This is the 400. Look at that. Look, you've got extra neck access. So they've... It's not often that I make a video, and possibly not very entertaining, when I don't say anything during the video, but that's insane. I keep looking at the monitor screen up there because that's how I can see it. I, I'm digging that. Okay, good, not in tune, that's good. Uh, we've got the, the jack socket down there, I just noticed. I was wondering what was going on here, I was too busy looking. Two point tram system! I'm, I'm so flabbergasted that I'm not even, that's a, it's a pop-in trim. All right, I'm gonna pop that back out. We're gonna try the, the next one in the range. And then we're gonna, I'm just so excited. Never have I been so excited about unboxing six guitars, which may seem like a dream, because it is. This is the 450 HSS. Okay, um, very, very nice, slightly, um, reminds me less of a of an F style, less of a Fender, more of an I Hive Ivan Ivanes. Um, but yeah, that's a lot of guitar. We've got again 
the, uh, the, the extra access at the top, so we've got that routed away. Then we've got locking tuners. But now we're in the sort of numbers that I would expect to be paying. Next one. I thought I only had one left. I've got, uh, I've got two left. This is the Jet Guitars JS500HH. So we're looking at two humbuckers. We're looking at some silica gel. We're looking at a matching headstock. I can see that through the paint, that's through the bag. <gasps> Damn. That's a sparkle finish. That is gonna blow the minds of a certain friend of mine. Oh, it's got a roasted maple neck. Did they all have roasted maple necks? I seem to remember that from an email. But that, that is the 500. We're not even at the top of the range yet. All right, that is, now, now we're starting to feel like that's that's a really good guitar. So the, the 147, the 300s were nice, but I was thinking nice for the price. Now we're talking about something that I actually would play and um, would be very happy to play on stage, etc. Again, assuming that they sound good. We haven't plugged them in yet, but you know, you can tell. You can tell when you pick up a guitar if it's had some attention to detail, and so far it has. Really hope I'm not missing something because I am in this honeymoon period of, of opening boxes, you see. But that, sparkle finish, sparkly sparkly, humbucker humbucker, two point tram, fluffiness everywhere from the bag, uh, and a matching headstock with locking tuners. I will get the full specs in a moment. Let's open up the final top of the range Jet Guitars 600, the JS 600. Flabbergasted is the word. Right, this is the top of the range JS600 HSS? Yes, the JS600 HSS. And I'm expecting, I'm expecting lots of things from this because now I've seen the 500, pretty colors, like a, like a Moroccan sunset. This is the top of the range. See, we've got locking tuners already. Even, even the bubble wrap smells and feels pristine. Okay, that's a thinner body there. There we have the Jet Guitars JS600 HSS. So now we're getting into the territory. This is the top of the range from, from Jet Guitars. This is the sort of price that I'd be paying. I'd want something fairly decent for this. So we're getting... I don't know what to say. Of course we've got to plug them in. Um, just from feel and looks, that's a very nice guitar. Look at that. So we've got, I don't know if I'm doing my job properly because I'm so excited, but we've got the, the cutaway again just here so you can really get the upper fret access. Don't like the perloid guard. That's perloid if you can see it properly. Don't know if the lights shine it off there. Um, I'm guessing that's mahogany with, an, with a maple top. Let's have a look. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the opening. I am sweating profusely. Sweating like an excited guitar player in a music shop. I didn't, I didn't smell the other ones, but this one smells, smells like a caramel chocolate factory. <laughs>
The JT300 I would happily have in my collection next to my Fender Custom Shop Tele. It doesn't sound as good, it doesn't feel as good, but it feels damn fine for a 150 euro guitar. That is just, it is, it is possibly the best, it is the best budget Tele I've ever played. At 150-ish euros, I have never played a better T-Star guitar. It's kind of a similar story with the JS300. The feel of this guitar body, they've got this shape absolutely right and the weight is good as well. Uh, the neck feels gorgeous. Um, at this price point with the 300 series, the sound is not gonna be great. I do not like that bridge pickup, but I do enjoy these two over here. Um, I've mentioned the things I don't like, but overall, again, one of the best S-type guitars I've played for 150 bucks. Possibly the best. I don't know. Um, it needs a little bit of work with the trem system and that. I think that's when you start to bring in things that you need to spend a bit more money on. So the T style is definitely the better guitar than the S style, even though that's still pretty damn fine. The JS400 is my pick of the bunch because this is the best Strat style guitar I've played under 200 bucks and it's still just over 150. It's only a little bit more than the JS300. This has all the stuff I like from the JS300, but it's got that added access back there. Um, it's got HSS, which you might not be looking for if you're looking for SSS. Um, the two-point trem system is far superior to that on the 300, and it just feels amazing. Again, sound, it should not really be that much of a consideration at this price point, because if you don't like the sound, there's everything there with the wood and the parts, you just need to change the pickups and electronics. If you're looking for a modder, that's the one. That is my pick of the bunch. The 450 is where things start to change because now you're getting to 290 euros, so you're spending 130 euros more, again, roughly, but you're getting the access on the back, you're still getting a great neck, you're getting locking tuners, and you're getting more attention to detail on the finish, so you're getting a flame top now, and that little back back there. Um, everything works really well, but the sound starts to have a characteristic rather than a function. So on the 300s, and possibly the 400s, it's a functional guitar, it has to sound. But now you're getting to the point where Jet Guitars or someone is choosing how these guitars sound. I wasn't overly in love with the sound of this guitar, even though it was pretty good. If I had this one, I'd be very, very happy to have this as a very good modding platform. If I were a beginner and I liked the look and I liked the setup, that's the one for me. The 500, this is my other pick of the bunch because it looks great. Not only does it look great, apart from the Polaroid pit guard, blah, um, the neck, everything, everything about this guitar is superb. Even the sound, it squeals, it squeals, it screams, it stays in tune, it does all the things you want to. That trem system is fantastic again. However, uh, this one's got Alnico pickups and this is where you start to choose the voice of your guitar. And I'm not sure if this is the voice I'd want, but, this again has all the bare bones of a fantastic guitar. If you're not into sounds that much and you want something that plays well, looks, in my opinion, fantastic and feels great, this is a great choice. Hmm. The 600 is where you think it would be at, but for me, um, this is a, maybe a step too far in the budget sort of side of things. It is a great guitar and it does everything that the 500 does plus a little bit more. So you've got the switch down here and you've got a five-way switch and it's all going on like it is in the 500. You've got the mahogany back this time. So we've gone up in terms of wood and we've got a, a flame maple top. It's got, again, all the ingredients of a superb guitar. I just think the 500 is better. And out of the bunch for budget, I think the 400 is the one to go for. So, Great, great guitar, but I hope there will be more YouTube videos featuring this guitar because I'm not gonna do it justice because I'm just not in love with it. I think that at this price point, um, I just think the 500 is a better choice. Go and watch somebody else making a video of this. I know there's some more coming out very, very soon. Um, I, I feel like I'm being unfair with this guitar. It's superb, but I'm so in, in awe of the 400 and so in love of the 500 that this one just uh, doesn't resonate about that well with me. Um, if you like the look, if you like the sounds, it is great. It's just, I think for the budget, it's not the one for me. Have I blathered enough now? Probably. So yeah, Jet Guitars, they are the new brand to watch, absolutely. This, it's just everything is very, very great for the, for the price. I'm, I'm absolutely flabbergasted, gobsmacked. 
Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with me in this super long video. If you want to hear more from me, then subscribe to the channel. And if you want to like it, that would also be fine. If you want to dislike it, that's also fine. I don't mind. Just leave me comments down below what you want to hear and what you want to see next. And uh, leave some love for Jet Guitars. I'm Andy, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.